to push the ball up the floor, even off of made shots. And, and trying to get those easy ones before the defense can get set is always an advantage, and you're seeing more and more teams trying to speed up their pace of play. And now the Lakers starting group. They've got Monk, Trevor Ariza out there with LeBron James. Then it's Anthony Davis, and it's Westbrook in at the point. Hayward outside. Back to ball. Washington kicks to Hayward. Shot clock at six. Shoots the three. Russell Westbrook with the rebound. To the inside. Davis finds Westbrook. Trying to get open is Davis. And it's Westbrook. That time on the assist by Davis. Westbrook's got the first three points of the night up on the boards for Los Angeles. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I got to talk to James Borrego a bit a few minutes ago. He is obviously concerned about shutting off Westbrook's driving lanes. Coach said when they surround Russ with enough shooters, the defense extends, and he takes advantage. Our rotations will have to be smart and fast. If not, Kevin, Russell will have a pick-your-poison scenario at hand. Back to you. Thank you, David. Washington, that's good. Yeah, Rozier has great vision on the floor, and it sees his teammate in the ideal situation. Westbrook passes to James. Westbrook with a screen for LeBron. To the paint, here's Davis. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Here's Rozier following the basket by Anthony Davis. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Good D by Ariza. Looking at the last game for the Lakers, it was a loss to the Kings in Sacramento. I mean, the selfless attitude of James. I mean, if someone on his team has a clean look, I bet you he'll find him. Ball against Westbrook. Ball, the pass to Washington. Bridges a screen on Ariza. Ariza against Hayward. A nice jump shot from the top of the key. Hayward's got five points so far. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. And what I like about Miles Bridges, such a versatile player, scores it, rebounds and passes, and also gets after it defensively. I love his energy, too. It's clear. His work ethic is strong. I mean, he just wants to keep improving over time. And I'd say that he's well on his way. Ball surveying the defense. On the wing, Rogier. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's a look at some stats for Westbrook. Great showing for him last season. First in assists. And he also finished the season in the top ten in rebound. It's just a terrific year on the glass. And dropping a lot of dimes. He led the league in assists because he's the ultimate competitor. An absolute magician with the basketball. Wasted no time on that one. And you can't give Monk any space. More than capable of hurting you from this area. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. They trail by three. Hayward outside. Ball against Westbrook. There's a screen by Washington. Ball, the pass to Washington. The kick out to Rozier. Over Monk. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Over the course of AD's career, he's made a concerted effort to draw fouls. I mean, we've seen that free throw attempt number skyrocket. Lakers shooting their first free throws of the game. Yeah, last year, collectively, only 74% from the line. First free throw is good. 
One of my favorite bigs in the entire NBA. When Anthony Davis is on the floor, it's appointment viewing only. And both free throws good for Davis. Chris, you and I love opening day. Which types of teams do you think tend to begin the season well? Great question, Kevin. I think it's teams that had chemistry the previous year, uh, teams that return a lot of players. That means you have that familiarity. Uh, teams that have help on that side. And, and more importantly, you know what? Sometimes teams that have the most heartbreak uh, because they're coming back uh, ready to go. Now here's Ariza after Terry Rozier's miss. Trains the three-pointer. Monk's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Lakers. Well, this is Monk at his finest. Receiving the pass where he wants it, elevating and knocking down the shot. Hornets trail by eight. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Ball against Westbrook. Now here's Hayward. Defense is right there. It's tipped. Lock it two. And Davis sends it back. You can't take that shot in front of Davis. His reach, his height, his time is never going to happen. James dishes to Ariza. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Outside, Davis. Shoots over ball. And it's in there. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. The 2K leaderboard provides us now with this list of last season's assist leaders. Russell Westbrook, number one. And it was the kind of season that he'd like to repeat over and over. Nobody was better at creating easy baskets for their teammates. Here's Ball. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Passes it to Hayward. And they get it. Hits it from three-point range. Lakers leading by seven. Davis with a screen on ball. James outside. Down low. Here's Davis. A shot. No good. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Hayward passes the ball. There's a screen by Washington. Beyond the arc. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists in the game. Los Angeles has gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Westbrook kicks to LeBron. Loads it up for Davis. Now, here's Bridges. Pass the ball. Back to Bridges. Six to shoot. There's a screen by Washington. Bridges misses. A fantastic effort on D to get up in his face and deny the layup. Reza dishes to LeBron. To the middle, here's Davis, and blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And the basketball. Back to Rogier. Bridges sets the screen for Rogier. Up and in, it's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. He's one for four to start the game. Now, I know he's disappointed, 
with that, but we got a long way to go. And some changes here for the Hornets. McDaniels checked in for P.J. Washington. Kelly Oubre comes in for Ogier. And it's Ish Smith in for Ball. A big group substitution here for the Lakers. White Howard's checked in for Anthony Davis. Anthony comes in for Trevor Ariza. Horton Tucker's checked in for LeBron. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Malik Monk. For the Hornets, they come into this one following a loss to Dallas. Westbrook passes to Rondo. Howard setting the pick for Westbrook. Over to the wing. Here's Horton Tucker. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. And Taylor Horton Tucker is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Martin's checked in for Charlotte. Feeds it to Oubre. Outside, Martin. Now, here's McDaniel. Tight defense on him. Four on the clock. Drives to the hoop. It's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. The Lakers in the lead. Inside. Smith with it. And there's the feed to Bridges. No good. That would have tied it. Here's Horton Tucker. Covered by Oubre. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And you try to find a player comparison for Taylor Horton Tucker. Man, it is hard to do. The, the skills of a combo guard, the length of a big man, this guy's different. Yeah, Greg, I mean, coming out of Simeon High School in Chicago, same as Derrick Rose, he carries himself with that confidence. He's on the rise, and he knows it. And the first one drops. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Hornets trail by four. And here's Smith. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Oubre. Bridges a screen on none. Oubre softly drops in the floater. Well, this is what Smith does best, keeping his eyes moving to set up the open man. For Los Angeles, they've gone 6-12 and in the field here in the first quarter. Rondo dishes to Anthony. Low block shot on the way. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. And of course, this is the first they're seeing of the Lakers. They set the screen. Oubre can't get it to go. 
LA has gone three of five from three point land so far in the ballgame. Rondo gets the bucket. Well, for a point guard, despite shaking the range, Rondo has a pretty good field goal percentage for his career. A lot of that is shot selection. Looking at the last game for the Lakers, it was a loss to the Kings. Pass to McDaniels. Smith with a screen on Anthony. Outside for Martin. Pass to McDaniels. Smith on the wing. Just five on the clock. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on Dwight Howard. Wow, the speed of Smith and his ability to change gears constantly keeps the D on their toes. He has a knack for picking up fouls while shooting. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Well, they've carried out a great game plan in the paint so far. Working it down low a lot and getting high percentage looks. Also, guys, the passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy to put all those assists. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. No good on the second free throw. The resiliency of Smith is something you have to admire. He's bounced around the league, but has finally become a valued rotation player. Anthony with a screen on Smith. Horton Tucker, the pass to Anthony. And Anthony gets double teamed. Oubre with the steal. Driving to the basket. Another shot. He lays it in. Oubre's got his second bucket of the night. You know, the length and the quickness of Oubre to me, it, it allows him to make this play as often as he wants. Smith against Rondo. Back to none. Lakers passing it around. Shot clock at five. Rondo finds Anthony. Here's none. Connects from three-point range. And the Lakers lead by five. Oh, improving his floor awareness. Howard has a decent sense for when his guys are open. Here's Smith. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. 135 left in the first quarter. And Bridges able to finish. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Here's none. Misses the three. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Oubre, good. And now just a one-point Laker lead. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. 109 left here in the first quarter. And there's the pass to Anthony. With the fadeaway. And the rebound goes to Martin. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Oh, you're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. Now, here is Smith. Back to Oubre. It's good. The assist that time from Smith. Oubre has got nine. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Los Angeles has gone 4 of 8 on their three-point attempts, doing a lot of work from way outside here in the first quarter. Pass to Horton Tucker. Anthony right side. Will it go? Howard trying to free himself up. And Anthony gets it to go. Anthony's got the game tied up here for Los Angeles. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Smith the pass to Bridges. And it's sent back by Howard. Howard, one of the most feared rim protectors in the league. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Smith feeling it out a bit. Kicks it to Oubre. Fires from deep. 
Rebounded by the Lakers. Outside Rondo. Ellington from outside. And no good that time. And guys, it's been Kelly Oubre making things happen so far for the Charlotte Hornets. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And we'll be back with you shortly. And now, a chance to hear LeBron James expound on the difference between offense and defense. More delicate than defense. Defense, you can make mistakes but cover for one another by just communicating and flying around at times and clean up for your mistakes. Offensively, if you're not all five guys at the same time and not moving and cutting and one pass or you know one bad uh, screen here or one pass there could mess up the rhythm of an offense. <laughs> You know, Greg, I could listen to him talk basketball all day. And he makes a valid point. You can't just hustle your way to great offense. It takes time and chemistry. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. Looking at what we've seen from the Hornets, what do you think? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Yeah, it's a gambling style that pays off keeping things in disarray for that offense. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Guard set is Westbrook in Ellington. Anthony Davis is out there with Anthony. And it's James in at the small forward. The importance of a three-point shot is never lost on LeBron. He keeps his game rounded out by making a D respect his range. Fast break. The Lakers. Here's Davis. And Davis throws it down. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. <laughs> Oh, you're right, and I love the opportunistic approach. These kinds of hustle plays can be game changers. And so it's Charlotte with it, following the bucket by the Lakers. Washington, it's hauled in by LeBron. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. For three, the shot will not fall. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. And we haven't seen them be quite as aggressive driving the basketball, settling far too much for jump. Oubre outside. Over Davis. Oubre can't get it to go. Lakers leading by five. Anthony kicks to Westbrook. James against Ball. Outside, Davis for the three. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's on Kelly Oubre. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And for, as for last season, he was a 74% shooter at the line. And he hits the first of three. Greg, you know a thing. <laughs> or two about being a floor general. It's no longer just a traditional guard role. Not at all. Now there are point forwards, even point centers. And an offense doesn't have to run through the backcourt anymore. You look at guys like LeBron and, and Jokic, it's a different game. Good on the second free throw. And he makes all three. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. A finish. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, James is a workhorse down deep. When he's close to the basket, you better wrap him up. The Lakers have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. Two 
two shots. Free throw good, LeBron. Well, a lot of guys have made a splash in free agency, but no one's done it like LeBron. He's transformed entire franchises overnight, more than a few times. And James drills them both. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. And the Hornets call time here. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, the defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure Coach is going to let them know that. we get a chance to check out LeBron James coming off a terrific season putting up about 25 points per seven assists and seven rebounds but to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team yeah yeah it, it gives you something you really can rely on going into every game and, and you can also work off of him to look to create for others Washington finds ball. Back to Washington. 4-3, Oubre. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Westbrook's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And thinking about the energy that Oubre plays with, always Chris very active on the floor. And that's something that is always out there for Oubre. Even if the shot is off, he's still a spark plug for this team. Something that endears you to your teammates. Now, ball. After Westbrook's missed three, Oubre, good. I like that shot from Oubre. Don't, don't think about it. Just catch a fire. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. James in the post, covered by Oubre. Westbrook wide open. He fires. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. James has got four assists in the game. Hornets trail by 10. Now Rogier passes it the ball. Hayward a screen on Westbrook. Out to Hayward. Just five to shoot. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Great D that time from Westbrook. And they double up Davis. He's more for three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Oh, great ball movement there. Charlotte's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. There's a screen by Washington. Oubre passes to Washington. Comes up empty down low. Los Angeles leading by 13. Pass to LeBron. Oh, 
Davis setting the pick for James. Back to Davis. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Misses the three. And he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. Hayward looking over the floor. Washington finds ball. To the middle. Deflects the pass to the paint. Hayward. And Hayward at the stop. Alert play on the part of Washington. He's a much stronger player when he shows the type of awareness and unselfishness. And here are the Lakers. They're on a 16-5 run. Westbrook with a screen for LeBron. And Westbrook gets it to go on the assist by James. LeBron's got five assists tonight. Charlotte calls timeout. Martin's checked in for Kelly Oubre. the pass to ball and stolen by James Martin trying to free himself up oh, great instincts there from Washington leading the situation and rising up to spike it and that's life above the rim courtesy of our AT&T 5G slam cam Westbrook against Ball. To the inside. And then Washington with the dunk. Ooh, I guess he didn't appreciate getting scored on on that last trip. I guess not. He threw it down right on top of him. LeBron against Martin. It's LeBron with the drive. And he makes that one. James has got seven points here in this quarter. There's so much power on LeBron's drive. The defense, more or less, they just clear out. And here's Rozier. He brings it up for the Hornets. 15-point game. Next up will be a home game matched up against the Pacers. That'll be the last of three straight at home for the team. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Charlotte's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. He kicks it to ball. From deep Washington. Westbrook pulls it in. Westbrook's got five rebounds tonight. This quarter has been hit or miss for him. Mostly miss. Down low. The dish to Davis. Shot clock at six. 
LeBron James on the wing. And the three off target. Hornets trail by 15. Pass to Rozier. Back to Ball. This one for three. Drills it from outside. Ball's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. When Ball is focused from the arc, he's almost automatic. I mean, defense, they can't let him pick his spots out there. Westbrook with it. Now guarded by Ball. Outside, Davis. Dishes it to LeBron. Davis with a screen on Hayward. Wow, came this close to a four-point point. point. He'll head to the line for three free throws. He's not afraid of getting physical. You know he takes care of his body in the offseason, and that's why he accepts the contact while he tries to score. Free throw drops for James. Oh, finally he's getting himself to the line. He's gotten much more aggressive as the game is going on. Some changes for Charlotte. Bridges is jacked in for Washington. McDaniels comes in for Gordon Hayward. And it's Ish Smith in for Ball. And then for Los Angeles, Howard's jacked in for Anthony. Kendrick Nunn comes in for Kent Bazemore. Ajan Rondo subbed in for Russell Westbrook. He hits the second from the line. nails the third here's Smith nothing yet on the scoreboard for him passes to Bridges Charlotte moving it around now here's McDaniels he's guarded by Davis a shot by McDaniels no good Davis dishes to James James a screen on Rozier here's none and McDaniels with the block and they'll keep possession and that one's good by Davis. He's not playing around. I mean, he hit the ground running the first quarter, and, and he's only turned it up in the second. Rozier against none. Bridges sets the screen for Rozier. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Such a ruthless competitor. Rozier excels at attracting contact when he's going up with assertiveness. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. I mean, how about a year ago? 82% on his foul shot. So he was reliable when he went to the line. That's good from Rogier. It's clear that Rozier has a lot of talent. I mean, now the next step is seeing him become a better distributor. Horton Tucker's checked in for Los Angeles. And both free throws good for Rozier. Lakers leading by 15. Pass to Horton Tucker. Back to Rondo. And the layup's good off the glass. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. So Rogier will bring it up for Charlotte. Bridges outside. Offline with his three. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Here's Horton Tucker. Rogier defending. That one falls. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Bridges outside. The pass to Rogier. Out to Smith. Three-pointer. That's good. And it's Rogier with the assist. 
Rozier's got three assists tonight. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Now, here's Nunn. Nunn, a screen on Smith. Lock at six. Rondo with the ball. Bridges covering. They get it again. Yes, to Horton Tucker. Nunn with it. Passes it to Howard. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Scooped up. Count it. Throughout his career, Howard has dominated the boards. The size, touch, and timing he possesses is just a lethal concoction. Rondo against Smith. No good that time. Excellent D from Howard. And Davis, here we go. Outside Rondo. Hey, Rondo, Rondo, Rondo. Here's Horton Tucker. Come get it. Hit it. To the wing right side. None. You got it, you got it. Come on, come on. And he gets it back. And McDaniels with the block. And he recovers it. It's stolen by Martin. Smith on the wing. Driving the lane. Bridges trying to free himself up. Smith with a nice move. Smith's got his second basket of the night. We've got 118 left to play here in the half. Rondo passes to Horton Tucker. Rondo is screen on Martin. Here's Horton Tucker, covered by Smith. And McDaniels with the block. There's the lob to Bridges. And it's the Lakers on the break. Stolen by McDaniels. Now here is Martin. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And Rajon Rondo, the basket on the assist by Davis. Davis has got three assists in the game. 35 seconds left in the first half. Rozier with the ball. It's stolen by Davis. Rondo passes to Horton Tucker. Watch the screen. Back to Rondo. Come get it, come get it. Pass to Horton Tucker. Six to shoot. Going inside. Good work defensively by Martin. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Lakers lead by 19. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Greetings, everybody. We love exciting. And this game is delivered as we've seen two top players battling mano a mano. And this matchup has been every bit as good as advertised. Just take it from Shaq. I mean, he's the king of advertisements. Stay tuned, folks. Don't change that dial. But what about during the commercials? Definitely not. And now turning our attention to this game, we have seen a very confident performance for the Lakers. Well, they killed it on the glass, and they did it with high-level fundamentals, blocking out, maintaining position, and going up strong to the basket. If they board like that in the second half, this lead will continue to grow. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You know, Davis has been exceptional here, guys. 
He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. Yeah, the offense looks crisp, and guys are hitting their shots. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. Setting the floor for the Hornets. The guard spots are filled by Ball and Rozier. Hayward out there with Washington. And it's Bridges in at the three, the small forward. Hornets trail by 21. Chris, fitting, right, that Russell Westbrook began a charity called the Why Not Foundation. Because that sort of sums up his attitude on the court. Put a challenge in front of him, and he'll say, why not? Yeah, he's always been fearless, and there's nothing he can't do on the court, period. And Russell's charity, you mentioned, the Why Not Foundation, does a lot of great work with young people in our at-risk communities. And here is Davis, after Miles Bridges getting his shot to go from deep. Back to Davis, kicks it out to Ariza. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. No good off the front iron. Oh, you hate to let those easy chances slip through your fingers. Left side, ball. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. Bridges a screen on Westbrook. And James picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Bridges against LeBron to the paint. Here's Washington, and then Washington with the dunk. What footwork by Washington works the play to perfection and gets free for a nice shot. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Westbrook kicks to James. And he drives in, and James throws it down hard. Oh, you love how fierce James is, a ferocious dunk artiste. On our at and 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Westbrook against Ball. And there's the pass to Rozier. Shot clock at three. No good on the shot. And the Lakers going the other way now. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Here's Westbrook. The Hornets pull it in. And here is Rozier. Missed inside. His offense has been non-existent tonight. It's really hurting them. Davis, the pass to Monk. No good with the triple. Hornets trail by 18. Hayward outside. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Ball dishes to Hayward. Count that one. And 12 points for Gordon Hayward. Look, with good size and underrated athleticism, Hayward's able to muscle through the contact. Lakers leading by 16. To the middle, here's Davis. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. James has got six assists here tonight. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off in this game. Now here's Hayward. 12 points for him. Pass to Rozier. Driving in. And James pulls it down. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Here's Westbrook, the turnaround jumper. Count it. Westbrook's got 12 in the game. Oh, a pretty comfortable mid-range shooter. You can't let Westbrook get in the groove from there. Set up, set up. Passes it to Bridges. And another three for Charlotte. 
Well, it was just a mystery what the defense was doing there. You never want to give him that much space outside the three-point line. Westbrook kicks to LeBron. Davis, the pass to LeBron. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. LeBron's got five points now in the quarter. Rozier up top. Monk defending. Inside, Washington. Great D that time from Davis. Lakers leading by 20. Pass to James. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Ariza's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Ariza just totally broke down the defense, exploiting any space they gave him off that pass. Bridges sets the screen for ball. It's good. He's got five. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easy it makes it for him to get to the cup. Outside Westbrook. Back to LeBron. Kicks to Westbrook. And they'll get another chance. The three ball. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Well, with as much defensive attention as AD gets, the passing lanes will be open for him. And those are the passes he needs to make. So Rogier will bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. And the Hornets call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks, a trend that they'd like to reverse. And some changes here for the Hornets. Kelly Oubre comes in for Bridges. And Booknight comes in for Rozier. And then for Los Angeles, Anthony's checked in for Ariza. And Ellington is subbed in for Malik Monk. Now here's Booknight. He's guarded closely. Here's Washington. And James pulls it down. James has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. They grab their own miss. And he uses the glass on the layup. LeBron's got seven points here in this quarter. What hustle from James on the offensive glass, ensuring they convert on this possession. And Ball gets double teamed. Here's Hayward. And Hayward at the stop. Oh, great flow to that possession. Two players totally in sync with each other. Now Westbrook. He's got 15. There's the pass to Davis. And that one is off. And the Hornets now going the other way. Ball against Westbrook. Here's Washington, and Davis sends it back. LeBron outside. 
Floats it up for Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. Oh, embracing contact on the way up. I mean, Davis is terrific at keeping his composure on these challenging finishes. For Charlotte, they've gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Pass to Washington. Here's Booknight. Off target from three-point range. All right, even for a player who's not a three-point specialist, yeah, I mean, that's a shot you've got to knock down. Oubre against James. Stolen by Ball. Here's Booknight. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pass to Oubre. To the inside. And stolen by LeBron. To the paint. And here we go with Westbrook running it up the court. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Lakers. Well, they played a heads-up brand of basketball this entire game, and they've got the steals to prove it. Yeah, and another thing, they, they've created a lot of turnovers, but they've also been able to convert when they've gotten out in transition. Here's Oubre following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Five to shoot. Hayward with the ball. Picked up by Davis. Washington. Back to Hayward. Tries again. And the rejection by James. Oh, what a swap by LeBron. Working hard to be all over the shoot. Stolen by Ball. Here's Booknight. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. And here is Los Angeles now. Westbrook passes to James. Westbrook a screen on Oubre. The drive by James. Can't hit that one. Excellent D there from Ball. Hayward right side. Now here's Booknight. Covered by Anthony. Booknight passes to Ball. Going inside. The Lakers with the rebound. James has got six rebounds in the game. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not-so-unlucky 13 shots. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Oubre on the wing. The three-pointer is right on target. Oubre has got 15. You know, and when Oubre is sinking triples, the offense is so effective. I mean, he needs to keep hitting from there. Los Angeles has gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Westbrook, a screen on Oubre. Here's LeBron. Anthony trying to get open. LeBron, good. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assisting. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Ball with the bucket. Well, he's already developed as a shooter, and, and he's going to get more consistent as he gets strong. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for Los Angeles. And what makes Book Knight so difficult to guard? His ability to hit jumpers off the bounce. He's got a great handle and the quickness to create separation. I, I know it's unpopular with the analytics crowd, but his pull-up from mid-range is money. Ball up top. He's covered by Westbrook. Washington kicks to Ubre. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got rebound number 13 with that last one. James, the pass to Davis. No good on the triple. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Oubre finds ball. 136 left in the third. Has to book night. Puts up a three. Westbrook pulls it in. Westbrook's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Wants to get it to Ellington and does. And checking out numbers for Gordon Hayward. Last season, he played outstanding. Last season put up about 19 points per. Six rebounds and four assists. And to have a player who can fill it up like him coming in off the bench, what an asset. Well, the offense, I mean, for the second unit, is built around his ability to score. He usually delivers.
And that one falls for Ellington. Charlotte making some changes. Daniels is checked in for Washington. And it's Ish Smith in for Ball. Howard's checked in for Los Angeles. Rondo comes in for Russell Westbrook. Good on both. There's 117 left to play here in the third. Smith against Rondo. Oubre on the wing. Gets that one through the hole, make him now 7 of 13 in this game. What an athlete Oubre is. I mean, if you just look at him, how he uses that athletic ability to punish defenses on the drive, incredible. Oubre against LeBron. The pass to Carmelo. Shoots over Booknight on the money from 12 feet away. Anthony's got his second bucket tonight. You know, we've seen this before from Anthony, an efficient score in the mid-range. Smith on the wing. He's covered by Rondo. Smith kicks to McDaniels. Oubre passes to Smith. And here is McDaniels. Charlotte moving it around. Oubre can't get it to go. Pass to LeBron. Now here's Ellington. He feeds it to Anthony. Seven-foot shot. No good that time. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Back right after this. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. So with Davis sitting on the bench, this is who Frank Vogel is out there. They've got Howard. Kent Bazemore is out there with Kendrick Nunn. Then it's Trevor Ariza. And it's Horton Tucker in at the three. Now here is... Smith. Here's Book Knight. No good on the three. Book Knight's gone 104 from the field. Now here's Baysmore. Passes it to Nunn. And you look at the pathway to the NBA for young players, Chris, opportunities now to go pro at 16, 17 years of age. Uh, the landscape is certainly changing, isn't it? Well, well the NBA said they're going to take an active role, making sure these teams get the best coaching, training, and, and learning. And overall, I, I see more promise than problems. Here's none following the bucket by the Hornets. Baysmore passes to a reason. None looking around. Here's Horton Tucker. Hornets with the rebound. Now he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. The good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. Here's Smith. The pass to carry. Here's McDaniels. And they get it back. Book night, no good. 
He's got to keep the ball moving. That's not a good shot with the D set up like it was. Here's none. Offensive rebound. The hard work and soft hands, guys. That, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. Now here is Smith. Pass to Book Knight. Ariza with the rebound. I don't know if it's been the main factor, but this off night has definitely been one factor here. None passes to Horton Tucker. Ariza outside. Pulls up on the wing, and that one good. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And Kendrick Nunn is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And Greg, you faced some exceptional point guards during your time in the league. But who was the toughest matchup for you when you played? Oh, man. You know, John Stockton was always one of the most difficult. But in a weird way, not because... I worried about him scoring on me. It was because I had to defend his ability to make people better. And, and that was always a challenge. And don't forget about the great Penny Hardaway. I mean, at 6'8", that, that was a nightmare to deal with. And my personal all-time favorite, Isaiah Thomas, who was as good as anybody's ever been at that league guard position. And his scoring has not been there at all tonight. I mean, it tells you a lot about their team, that they have the lead anyway. Book night. Baysmore grabs the miss. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. And it's off from three-point range. Charlotte has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Smith outside. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. None kicks to Ariza. Traps in the tray. And the three-point shooting skills of Ariza are just lethal. A volume shooter from there who can flat out light it up. Smith against None. To stop the drought. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And Greg, you were a hard-nosed defender. Would you be frustrated by what they're calling a foul today? You know, I, I would based on how I played. But if you grew up in this era, this is just the way the game is. And you have to adapt and adjust. And that's what you're seeing with the players. Guys can defend it every bit as good as they ever have. In fact, I would argue they're better defensively today because they're not allowed to grab and hold. So... The league is focused on offense. The fans seem to love it. But at the end of the day, you still got to get after it defensively. All right, Greg, I'm going to put you on the spot. Who do you think right now has the best backcourt in the NBA? Oh, my goodness. I mean, so many terrific backcourts to choose from. You know, Phoenix has got to be in that conversation with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. But I'll tell you what, with the Splash Brothers healthy and back at it, it's just hard to beat that combination. Here's Horton Tucker. He dishes it to Ariza. Yes, that goes in. Ariza's got 10 points here in the second half. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. And the pass to Washington. He kicks to McDaniels. Now here's Book Knight. He's covered by Bazemore. Book Knight, no good. He's disappeared this quarter. He can't get anything to drop. That's not going to help him get out of the hole. And Ariza with the stop. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, and it hasn't just been the offensive output. They're putting in the work at the defensive end as well. And so here's Charlotte following the bucket by the Lakers. Here's Smith. And it's sent back by Howard. Now here's Monk, the fast break chance. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got four rebounds now tonight. 
Pass to Book Knight. And now that we've gotten a taste of it, Greg, what do you think of the play-in tournament? I, I love it. I mean, it definitely has some pros and cons, and you want to keep as many teams as possible engaged down the stretch, but it's a long season, and for some teams, it just got a little bit longer. Now, here's Monk. Howard in the post. Washington's on him. Passes to Horton Tucker. Goes back up. The putback. And Howard with the second chance points. Not a lot of resistance on the inside. And they're taking full advantage. Smith with it. From deep. Book night. No good. He's gone off the rails this quarter. And it's a bad time to do it. I mean, when they're needing to fight from behind. Baysmore passes to Howard. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Howard's got six here in this quarter. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Three-pointer, Martin. That shot is off. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Howard setting the pick for Monk. It's Howard with the drive. Nice pass. Right under the rack perfectly for the layup. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Charlotte shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. Now here's Book Knight. He's covered by Bazemore. Pass to Washington. Down low. Here's Martin. And finished off by Martin. Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. And the Lakers with possession here. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. The pass to Bazemore. Here's Horton Tucker. Ariza, a screen on Martin. Drives to the hoop. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. The dynamic rag between players and officials is always interesting. With some players saying they think there's a lot of room for improvement. What do you think? Uh, well, we do see players getting teed up for simply making their case. And, and really, the guys just want to play. So, yeah, you, you love to see a little bit more harmony out on the floor and Maybe we need to get those two groups together in the offseason to, to break bread and try to smooth over that relationship. The first one falls. Los Angeles making a switch here. Ellington's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Smith outside. There's a screen by Washington. Smith kicks to Washington. Pass to Martin. Charlotte moving the ball around. Smith outside. No good from outside. He's done almost no damage from three-point range in this game. No threes in this half, and only one in the first. The shot's good from Horton Tucker. Horton Tucker's got four points this quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the time. Wow, his first triple of the second half gives him two on the night. He's not making much of an impact from deep. Los Angeles has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Now, here's Monk, covered by Smith. Passes it to Howard. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. 
and the NBA dress code introduced back in 2005. Now, player attire straying a bit from business casual. Uh, does that bother you, Greg? You know, it doesn't bother me because that's where we are as a society. But, man, I can tell you, when I first came in the league, you get fined if you didn't wear dress socks with your suit. So we have come a long way in terms of the evolution of fashion. And you know what? I'm not one for stopping progress. Well, free throwing was never a strength of Howard's game. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And for the Hornets, their shooting has been wayward so far. Only 37% from the floor. McDaniels passes to Booknight. There's a screen by Washington. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Dwight Howard. He had a defender all over him. And he makes the first. And Greg, with recent legal results, more opportunities now for compensation for college athletes. Uh, do you like it? I do. I mean, there's enough money going around. I don't have a problem with the athletes getting a share, uh, especially with the amount of time and effort and energy they have to commit. Let's take care of the guys. Let them enjoy the collegiate experience. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 53% from the field in the fourth quarter. Can't ask for more than that from your offense. Here's Horton Tucker, covered by Martin. Shot clock at six. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Now, here is Smith. Monk defending. Washington passes to Booknight. The three-pointer no good. He hasn't been able to find any kind of groove this quarter. I mean, it seems like he's been running on fumes since halftime. Now, here's Monk, covered by Smith. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's just an athletic, strong big man. It's hard to guard Howard, given how powerful he is. First one falls for him. And this August, the Summer League was back in Las Vegas, Greg. And that's where you're from. That's where you played. How pleased are you to see your hometown become a mecca for the game in the offseason? Oh, it is such a proud moment for me, born and raised here, growing up here. And, and quite honestly, I'm just thrilled that we have Summer League again. After what we've gone through, partner, it is just a breath of fresh air to get back to focusing on the little things. Well, Hornets shooting around 36%. They're just not able to finish consistently. Smith, the pass to Booknight. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Booknight's got nine points here in the second half. Now, here's Monk. D right on him. Ariza outside. Kicks to Ellington, takes the three. Good on the three-point shot. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Well, it's a matter of pride and a matter of each side trying to seize control of this game right now. 
Now here is Smith. Monk defending. Smith the pass to Booknight. Now Martin. The three. And another three for Charlotte. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. But you can see why after that sequence. Now, here's Monk. Pass to Howard. A rebound by Washington. Washington's got rebound number five here tonight. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout. A dominating performance for Los Angeles. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Davis. Every time there was a big possession or a big play, he was a major contributor. Just a great all-around game. Here's Smith after the basket by the Lakers. There's a screen by Washington. Over in the corner, McDaniels. No good on the three. Shot and game clock separated by five. Ariza passes to Horton Tucker. Back to Ariza. Ellington with it. He's against Smith. Shot clock at five. Ellington kicks to Ariza. There's the triple. Now the pass to Horton Tucker. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Anthony Davis.